Hey guys, greetings from Haptif. Today we are going to do a video on the WhatsApp's payment feature. So let's dive in. So here I am at my WhatsApp. Let's go to the settings menu and see what's new. As you can see, there is our new UPI based payment feature. I didn't set up anything yet. I just have to do everything from scratch. So I thought I'll set up a video so that everybody can understand or people who are confused with the payment method can understand how to do this stuff. So as you can see, they have mentioned it's uh, send and receive money securely with UPI. So I'm accepting and continuing. So they are asking me to verify my phone number. So first of all, uh, they will probably send an SMS from your phone uh, so that they will authenticate which, uh, which SIM that you are using with your WhatsApp. I guess your SIM should be same as the SIM that you are using in the WhatsApp with the one that you are using in the back. So my SIM is now authenticated. I am getting a list of banks there. As you can see, when I'm scrolling down, there's a huge list of banks associated with. So you can select whichever bank you are having or whichever bank you are having the account. So right now I'm going back to the bank which I'm having the account, which is the uh, Yes Bank Limited. Now when you click on your bank, it will automatically fetch your bank account based on the number you have shared. This is why I have told you earlier, the number you are using with your WhatsApp should be same as the number that you are using for your bank account. As you can see, my bank account is already listed here and there is also a small information written that all the payments are processed using ICICI bank network. So I'm clicking on the bank account. The setup is now complete. You can see a small information there. You can access the payment option from the attachments button inside a chat menu. Now let us test and see how does this thing work out. The interface is pretty much straightforward. You have the payment history. Right now, I don't have any. You also have the bank account. You can see the current bank account that is linked to the account. And you also have an option to add new account. Then also there's a help menu. Now let us test it out and see how does it work. For the payments to happen, both the parties should have the account set up in their payment method and also should have the UPI pin. Now when we are clicking on the pin, you can see there's a new option called payments. So we are clicking on the payments. Right now we are taken to the payment screen where you can see to whom are you sending the money and also which with which account you are sending it. Right now I am typing in a test message along with it and rupee one. Now we are redirected to the UPI transactions page. Here you have to enter the UPI pin. So right now I'm going to enter my pin and let's see what happens. Now I have entered the key and pressing the tick mark. Now it is saying it's processing the payment. Let's see. Now I am redirected to the chat box. You can see the payment is still processing. We can wait till it is completed. So let's open it up. Now the status says it's completed. So your transaction is done. And all the details of your transaction are listed here. Now we'll try this once again. Only this time, what if I don't know the UPI pin? What happens? So right now I'm sending the same money. I am redirected to the UPI page. Right now I am entering a random number. It's not my UPI pin. So what happens? Let's see. So it is saying that the UPI pin is incorrect. You can try again. Cancel or forgot UPI pin. So right now I am pressing the forgot UPI pin option. Let's see what happens. So okay. Now you can verify with your debit card uh, whichever is associated with your account. So you can reset your UPI pin and continue with the transaction. So that's a very good thing to do from the application itself. So when you enter the last six digits of your debit card along with the expiry date, you'll be redirected to a page where you get, you'll get an OTP along with an option to reset your current UPI pin. Now what happens if you are sending to a random person who does not have his account set up? So we are trying the payment method. Okay, so it is giving a pop-up that this person has not updated their version of WhatsApp to receive the payment which means that you have to be on the latest WhatsApp version to get the payments option. If one of your friend is having the payment option and you are not having it, you can also get it by simply initiating a payment from their end. But you have to make sure that you are having the latest version of the WhatsApp installed. So that's all from me guys. Please let me know if you have any question. Please like my channel, share and subscribe.